Finally, freedom for two American hikers held prisoner in Iran. Peace will not come through statements and resolutions at the United Nations. If it were that easy, it would have been accomplished by now. And the president's message to the world today, the key points of his U.N. address. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused last week's air show crash in Reno, Nevada, but one new picture may tell the story of what happened. And these tough times have more people wanting to donate sperm, but you're out of luck if you're a redhead. Your independent news network starts right now. Good evening, I'm Amanda Decker in for Mike Mickle. Two American hikers jailed in Iran are finally free after more than two years behind bars. Shane Bauer and Josh Vital were released today on bail. They mistakenly crossed into the country while hiking. They, along with Sarah Shord, were convicted of espionage and were sentenced to eight years in prison. Shord was released last year due to medical reasons. Well, President Barack Obama lays out his vision for peace during the opening session of the United Nations General Assembly. At the podium, the president claimed great success in drawing down conflicts across the Middle East. He reminded the assembly he took office during a time of two wars for the United States. But now he says, quote, the tide of war is receding. Now I know that many are frustrated by the lack of progress. I assure you, so am I. But the question isn't the goal that we seek. The question is, how do we reach that goal? And I am convinced that there is no shortcut to the end of a conflict that has endured for decades. President Obama also used his speech to call on Palestinians to drop their bid for full membership to the UN. The fear is that granting Palestinian statehood could kill the prospect of resuming peace talks with Israel. Time for Global News Now. A powerful typhoon made landfall in Japan today, killing several people and lashing some areas with heavy rainfall. You can see here a house being pulled slowly into the rushing waters. The storm is a blow to a nation already trying to recover from a natural disaster, last spring's earthquake and tsunami. Heavy rainfall in China is wreaking havoc on the country's roads. Look at this overpass in central China, which collapsed after the earth was weakened by the pounding rain. A landslide crashed into the overpass, turning it into nothing more than rubble. And you can see workers already trying to repair it. No one was injured. Let this be a lesson about flying too close to your due date. Expecting mom, Ida Almiello, was on an international flight from the Philippines to San Francisco. At 35,000 feet, the contraction started. A call went out for nurses. There were thankfully three on board. Ida says they were amazing, working together like a team. I don't know what to do because I'm nervous. I'm, And then, and that's so fast. In just 15 minutes, every, everything's she gave birth to a baby boy named Kevin Ray Mer Francis A. Domingo. Why Francis? Francis is because um, the baby's um, very San Francisco, USA. And that's your Global News Now. We now know a little more about what may have caused Friday's plane crash at a Reno, Nevada air show that killed 11 people, including Ocala, Florida pilot Jimmy Leeward. This new video released just today shows the 74-year-old's vintage plane as it nosedived in front of the grandstand into a crowd of spectators. More than 70 others were hurt. And take a look at this picture. This shows Leeward's plane before the crash. There's no one in the cockpit. Investigators believe it's possible Leeward's seat was broken and he may have actually been thrown into the back of the plane. Investigators plan to release their findings on Friday. Two Miami Dolphins fans who were arrested for stealing jerseys showed their team spirit in court. The pair showed up in bond court Monday, both wearing Dolphins jerseys. They're accused of stealing two jerseys and a team hat at the Dolphins Sun Life Stadium on Sunday. The merchandise is valued at more than $300. One of the co-defendants, Nelson Walker, said the jersey that he was sporting in court was not the same one he's accused of stealing. It was just the one he happened to be wearing at the time that he was arrested. This ain't the one, young. No? No, ma'am. Huh? It showed on that that I ain't took no jersey. I ain't took no jersey. Walker was issued a $5,000 bond and banned from the stadium for life. His co-defendant, who told the court he is a diagno diagnosed schizophrenic, was allowed to go to the hospital in lieu of going to jail. 
Well, it's one of the oldest plays in the world, but the NFL says it will not punish the Giants for faking injuries during Monday night's game versus the Rams. Two Giants players collapsed in a heap near the goal line during a play where the Rams were in position to score, but they appeared to be fine following the break in action. So it's no place for the referee to judge if a player is actually hurt or not. The NFL says they would only find people in teams for this behavior if they actually admitted to it. The Giants did win, by the way, 27-17. We all share the road with big rigs, but some may not be fit for our highways. The Nebraska State Patrol held a surprise inspection yesterday for truckers. 47 did not meet safety standards. Clark Young from our Omaha, Nebraska affiliate KPTM shows us what inspectors look for. As Officer Bell gathers his tools, he heads off to yet another surprise inspection. Sir, I got the chalk set. Uh, what I can get you to do now is just to go ahead and release the parking brake. The Nebraska State Patrol and Omaha Police Department hold about two surprise inspections a year. First thing I'm going to do is make uh, contact with him and we're going to check all the lights to make sure that they're working. Four ways. As I move around the truck, I'm also looking to see if there's anything visible. Uh, at this point, what I'm doing is I'm checking all the brake lines uh, going to the different uh, brake pods and also checking the frame to make sure there's no cracks, uh, make sure there's no loose equipment underneath here, make sure that the exhaust is not leaking. Now, some of the major things they look for in these inspections are things like are the brake pads and brake lines good, are the tires filled up, and are these trucks too heavy to be on the road? It's just time consuming when you're busy. Uh, it ain't bad as long as you're legal. I mean, these guys are just doing their job like we're doing ours. Well, so far it's been pretty good. Um, I think it's it's a good thing to keep us safe on the road, yep. you know, and keep uh, other vehicles safe as well. Nothing you can do about it. Hang on for the ride. And while the drivers simply hang on for the ride, Officer Bell continues his inspections, never knowing what he might find. Just a regular day. Clark Young reporting for INN News. Well, there's a scam going around that could get you in trouble, especially if you tend to run red lights. Scammers are calling people at random, saying they have overdue red light camera fines. The only way to avoid a significant late fee during these calls or jail time is to pay right then on the phone. Of course, there's no camera, no photograph, and no overdue bill. Experts say police don't use the phone to chase down or collect overdue fines or tickets. They use mail or, in some more dire cases, a process server or a police officer. Also, police will not ask for any personal information over the phone unless you initiate that phone call. Well, later, a red light for redheads wanting to donate at a major sperm bank. And if you think the pain at the pump is bad, how about paying hundreds extra to fly? Some pretty hefty fees for heavy luggage. And we'll meet one man who's living the American dream for practically nothing, a house sitter for millionaires. That's coming up next. And we want to remind you, INN News is on Facebook, and now you can also find us on Twitter at INN News Network and on YouTube. We're reaching out to you so you can reach out to us. We'll be right back.